Students, I'm so excited to read Penny's Purpose to you today. Penny's Purpose is a story about a dog named Penelope. Penelope was a shelter pet and was adopted in March of 2015. Penny is a German Shepherd slash Australian Shepherd mix. She has two sisters, Sophie, she's a German Shepherd, and Willow, it's a great Pyrenees. She has a mom named Lindley and a dad named Taylor, that's me. Um, her brother Beckett, who's a human, uh, will be here in March of 2021. Grab a furry friend as you dive into the story of Penny. Do your part, adopt a pet, or volunteer at your local animal shelter. And so I'll be reading to you today, Penny's Purpose. And it is, it is illustrated by a former student of mine, Ellie Allen. The year was 2015. I was fluffy, perky, and I had Grinch feet. I was running the street and everyone who saw me thought I was mean. Little did they know that finding a family was my ultimate dream. One day I was walking towards my favorite tree when a big scary man came up and caught me. He snatched me up in a big round net even though I tried telling him I wasn't a threat. He placed me in a crate in the back of his truck. I had run out of time. I had run out of luck. When I opened my eyes, I was at some place new. I did not know how to feel about it, so my thoughts began to brew. I was in a big kennel. It was nice, but it wasn't cozy. All of the other dogs around me were being kind of nosy. I had ended up at Metro, a shelter for pets. All I could think to myself was, thank goodness it wasn't the vet. I don't think many dogs like the vet. Life at Metro wasn't too grand. Life in the crate was lonely and their food bland. The dogs next to me all found their new homes. I was happy for them, but I still felt alone. Would Penny ever find a home? Who knows? How long would I be here? I really didn't know. Would I get to feel the Alabama heat or eventually touch the snow? One day, to my surprise, a lady named Lindley happened to drop by. I was so happy I could have cried. So Penny found her a friend. She took me outside and we played for hours. I worked up a sweat and I needed a shower. Lindley stayed as long as she could and went back and told her husband that her day was good. She had a good day with Penny. Lindley came back the next day to check on me, but on my kennel, there was a note that I could not see. It read, not for adoption, how could this be? I was sick and there seemed to be no hope until I found out that Lindley had returned. Was this for real or was this a joke? She took me outside and I hopped in a truck. She looked at me and said, Penny, you're in luck. I'm now your mom and this man is your dad. We're going to take care of you. There is no need to be sad. So Penny did find a home. That's good. A few months later, I was sick no more. I could jump on the bed and roll around on the floor. My life was perfect and my life was grand, but what was my purpose I did not understand. Penny's still trying to find her purpose. Until one day, my parents came home, but this time they were not alone. They carried a baby into my room. I could not believe it. My heart was about to zoom. My parents had brought me my own baby brother. Dad was his father and mom was his mother. His name was Beckett and to my surprise, he loves me with joy and a twinkle in his eye. So what is my purpose? It's simple, you see to protect this brother that God has given me. So Penny found her purpose. The end. Thank you guys for listening today. I hope you enjoyed Penny's Purpose.